Hey all, here we are at Hummies World Blending Mode class yet again. And we are going through the blending modes in order and taking a quicker look at them and giving everyone the same texture and the same blending mode and asking them to play with it and share. That way we all learn by seeing what each other does. And we're having lots of fun. I'm having lots of fun. I'm having lots of fun just playing. And here we are all the way down to the hard light blending mode. Um, th this is a little bit more difficult. It's actually one of the f least used, I think. Um, but it isn't as difficult as, um, let's go back up here and look, the um, darker color and the lighter color were really hard uh, to use because they actually made things white or black black or they made things a finite color rather than really blending and our overlay and our soft light were the yummiest and now we're down to the hard light now the hard light um, combines the multiply and screen blending modes you'll remember that's what the overlay and the soft did and you would think that that would create something yummy since that's what the, these two did but the layers are swapped and when they're swapped you get a real um, hard that's why it's called hard light uh, a very um, it, yeah just harsh it's a very harsh uh, result so let's go and take our sneak peek like we've been doing with every one of these classes and we're going to start at the overlay and we saw that that was wonderful and uh, whites became brighter blacks became darker and that the soft did it the same thing but made it so pleasing to the eye and comfortable now we're going to do the same thing but we're not so pleasing to the eye and <laughs> we're not so comfortable and we're in your face but it does the exact same thing. You'll look at the center one, your 50% gray, just as in the soft, and the the uh, overlay. You saw that they that made no change, but it makes a change in every other pixel. But now it just makes it real hard. Uh, that white is really white compared to the soft white and the overlay white the hard one is oh it's sharp it's there and it's gonna do it so that is your hard light blending mode now let's play with it and here is what I did with uh, this um, hard light everything in here is hard light and uh, that's what we're trying to do um, at, after we're done going through them all we're going to do some mixing and matching and um, let's go look and take this apart a little bit there's really not much to it so I'm going to go back to our normal blending mode and our normal opacity and this is the interesting texture everybody's getting look at that it just actually it's just like a mess <laughs> it's got the wire things in it I really like the wire things <laughs> and because uh, it's just like my third texture I've used them on and it's just a mess look at that mess and so this mess though uh, has a lot of contrast has a lot of lights and a lot of darks which is good and has a lot of textures it's got some torn papers on it and uh, that that just and it's got some edging that's darker over here with speckles it's just got all sorts of stuff going on way too much going on you know in the corners so when I take that and well let's go uh, dissect some more <laughs> we're going to go all the way down and kind of reconstruct so here is my original image and when I take this which also has a lot of darks and lights in it 
and I put my texture over it and I choose hard light it does this now that's not too yummy that's kind of really really harsh um, just like I said it would be but you can see all that goodness <laughs> blending into it so what I had to do was lower the opacity now even right here at 63 it starts getting a little bit yummy <laughs> I love that word yummy um, you can see uh, up here at the top all that grunginess around the edges you can see the texture blending in nicely all in there but um, I actually took it down a little bit more it's going to be different with each photo you know uh, it depends on whether your photo what colors it is and and uh, so I ended up down here around you know I think it was 47 that's where mine was so here's before and here's yummy now it's yummy now you've got subtle textures that are showing through and you know grunge up here blending in and it just got yummy and so um, I added my text now my text actually uh, the layer itself here's normal and I actually changed it also to hard light so you can see it just kind of made it really really pop and you can see some of the lines and textures going on it but that's not the only thing I did with it I went ahead because it wasn't very readable and I added a stroke layer uh, and uh, that that blending mode is normal but oh I thought I would changed this I'd actually changed this to a hard light for the uh, yeah I don't know why that got changed back so I had changed that to a hard light let's see what happens when we make the stroke blending mode a hard light Ooh, let's see which way we like it better there's that and we can go back a step I kind of like it um, regular but I do did have my text as the hard light uh, blending mode and then I made two lines and each of these lines is also a hard light uh, blending mode and um, I it gave my letters you know something to kind of rest on and I said well that's good now what else am I gonna do it's just I want something different I've done the lines around the edges what am I gonna do and so I made these four layers but basically what I did was I got my custom shape tool and I chose the solid rectangle and I drew the rectangle in the corner and um, then I moved back to my move tool and I rotated it so it tucked into that corner and then I held down my control key and I just grabbed the edges let's tuck it into the corner a little bit better and I grabbed the edges and I made it fit I reshaped it so it fit in the corner and then I duplicated it control J oops this is uh, the uh, texture layer is so opaque that it wants to grab when you're doing the corners so I just uh, duplicated it and then I moved it to the other corner and turned it around and I did that for each of the corners and I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two and show you the four that I did then um, let's see I changed the blending mode to yeah you guessed it hard light and I lowered the opacity to 51 percent and I added a drop shadow actually this is where I changed that drop shadow to hard light I knew I'd done it somewhere um, and I, this 
looks better in the multiply mode, the default for this drop shadow. And I put that on all four corners. And these um, drop shadows are the same, but I did uncheck Use Global Light and I rotated the drop shadow. So this drop shadow is showing up, is going this direction. Oh, didn't mean to move it. Let's hit Cancel. And this drop shadow is going this direction. This drop shadow is going this way and this that way. That way all the drop shadows are on the edges here. And um, that was all I did. So we go from the before photo to the after photo. And I thought the hard light made something pretty grungy and kind of cool. What do you think? I think I want to see what you're going to do with it. It's kind of a weird texture, but hey, it's fun to play with. You can't even tell how weird it is anymore um, with all that grungy cool stuff coming through. Bye!